Persephone. We're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Quint with Collapse Gaming, and I'm coming at you with another Bioshock 2 episode. And, uh, yeah guys, we're actually on our way to, uh, Eleanor. And on the last episode, we went ahead and we, we, uh, took out... Ah, oh, damn, I already forgot his name. But, uh... <sighs> shit. Oh, Gil Alexander. Yeah, we took Gil Alexander out. And got the genetic key code. So now we're heading into Persephone. Which... Actually is a pretty cool part of the game. But, uh... God, we're... Nobody down here at the entrance, apparently. Guess we'll just keep rolling. Father, come quickly. I, I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. All right. Well, hopefully, uh... I wonder, Delta. Do you know everybody you keeps interrupting here? me. Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. Oh, lamb. Ooh, power to the people. That's what I'm talking about. We'll do probably a rivet gun. I don't see why we wouldn't. Eh, but the launcher sounds badass, too. Especially that damage immunity, but like I said, we'll go with the uh, rivet gun clip size. Keep it simple. Ah, come on now. Come on, guys. Honest mistake. Get out of here. Ooh, I can hack him, too. Oh, Alright, well... Yeah. Well, that doesn't stop the uh, alarm, apparently. That's fine. Got two of them now? Hell yeah. Oh, the alarm's done now. Eve, drill fuel, always use drill fuel. Got some buckshot. That's what I'm talking about. No talking beyond this point. Well, we'll try. Another bot, I don't think we, even if we could hack it, I don't think it can be part of our group or whatever. Is this where we're going to meet up with uh, Eleanor? That's her son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. Huh. Well, I guess... Oh, come on now. It's like, I did that three times in a row. That's terrible. So bad. Oh, uh... Trap rivets, heavy rivets. We need all kinds of rivets now that we got our rivet gun actually solid. Like, we got the damage, we got the clip size. I'm sure there's a third one that... I forgot about because all here in Bioshock 2 they made it so you uh, have this like always these crazy third attachments the quarantine chamber how will she remember us 
After this moment, I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. Huh. <clears throat> What's going on? Oh, shit. What? Multiple big sisters? Yeah, let's get those turrets out. I don't have one turret. Yeah, take that. Take that. Solid slug. She, I feel like the drill just owns him though. Like a lot more than this shotgun is. Oh, I also have, or do I have them still? I'm not sure if I have those bots anymore. There we go. There we go. Take you down a peg or two, bud. <clears throat> All right. Damn, they're tough. They just keep rolling. I thought she was standing in the water there for a minute. Bam! All right, come on, you one more? Yeah, all right, we got one more. That's what I'm talking about. Hurry now, quarantine chambers waiting on you. Get in there. Uh oh. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. Watching you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster shaped by you alone. Just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remaining. But there is one detail of your mutual bond she failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. Eleanor, forgive me. He will return elsewhere. Full restraint at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Well, that was fucked up. <clears throat> Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. 
Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now, or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. You have taken control of a little sister. You can now use vents and gather Adam. Awesome. I know this feels a bit strange, Father, but now you can see through her eyes and tell her where to go. This is how I brought you back without Mother catching on. Now, first, let's get you out of here. Damn, so we get to be a little sister right here? This is crazy. You get to go through the vents and everything. This is actually kind of a cool little world. It's like a different world. Apparently the little sisters see Rapture as, you know, perfection. I guess it's like their own little, uh, own little paradise or whatever. It's crazy. She's just chilling right there. No big deal. What mother did to me left me very weak. Or I would do this part myself. To save your life, I'm going to have to change. To be like you. From here, you should be able to locate the pieces of a big sister suit. Please, bring them to me. All right. It's kind of crazy, but that's sort of cool. So now we got to gather up all the, the big sister, like components, like, uh, the helmet, all that stuff, the suit to go ahead and make Eleanor into a uh, big sister. Butterflies all around that thing. Here, I can help you. So this must be when they try to take the the little sisters. That must be what basically that dude is trying to do father. is find the rest and bring them back to me. Trying to get me to come over so he could go ahead and get the atom from me. That's cool. We got. The one piece of the suit, though. Ten years, father. Stuck in this, this fever dream. Mother kept me sedated in order to perfect my mind with Adam. To her, the ideal child is a genius, serving the common good without questioning it. You have saved me from that. Whoa. All right, we got it's the helmet, right? Oh, we got a diary. I've been quarantined, but mother's unaware of the extent of my connections to the new little sisters. I don't just empathize with them. I can control them directly. They are my hands and my eyes now. Better yet, 
We have found father's body and took a gene sample. The girls are hiding the samples inside those dolls we used to make. It's only a matter of time before I work out a way to rig one of those fighter chambers to seek his genetic signature. And then, I can't wait to see mother's face. Kind of gave you guys a little look around when, uh, basically what the, uh, what world Our she's actually in. And... made from me, in part. As they grow up in rapture, I feel it all. When you were with the little ones, they trusted you as their father because of me. But it gives you a glimpse of what the world actually is and what it <coughs> isn't what they make up in their own mind. Damn, I didn't know you could go ahead and do this. Just kind of talk and do this stuff. Oh, and it gathers up more Adam. That's cool. Alright. Oh. Big sister weapon. That's cool. All right, well. Let's see if we can get back to, uh, Mother was right Eleanor. about one thing. I have been watching you, Father. Studying the way you have treated others. And now I know who I am. Hell yeah. Basically, this is where, like, all the decisions that you ever, uh, made start to come into play. Like, as far as saving the little sisters, uh, all that stuff. I believe the news guy, Patrick, or, I think his name is Patrick. Like, all that stuff comes into play here. Got another diary. Eleanor is changing as Delta draws closer. I am free. After everything Mother has done to me, I am alive and sane enough to be curious about the sun. When you rescued my new sisters, I felt every one. And it gave me hope for the first time in years. Hell yeah, that's what I do. I'm just a nice guy like that. It was like a little stuffed animal, uh, uh, Big Daddy. How is it that I'm able to just stroll on in here when I couldn't do that earlier? do the same for all the others starting with this one we've done it father I'll be there soon so she saved her Suits always did make me think of you, Father. I guess I still remember you in shining armor. But now it's my turn to fight for you. Take this plasmid. You can use it to call me to your side in a fight. Hell yeah. That's pretty badass. She'll definitely crush some some people if we summon her in. Ooh, what's this? 
ten dollars and first aid kits that I can't use. Sweet. <laughs> Oh, damn, she took down a brute splicer like it was no big deal. I guess we'll probably give this a shot. There we go. Going down, buddy. They look like... These brute splicers, if they ever made a movie, they should just have Tom Hardy go ahead and play as one of them. Because they look like one of those, uh, like, New York Mafia, like, enforcer guys. Just the big dudes. Subject Delta, I know you can hear me. You have stolen my life's work. And with it, my only daughter. But Rapture is the house of monsters. The surface will not have us. And now, we shall be buried as a family, side by side. Nah. We'll be oh good. God. She's going to drop this building into the trench. It's miles deep. We have to find Sinclair. <laughs> God, I'm just doing like worse and worse at that, uh, at the hacking on here. Feels like as the game goes along, it's just gotten a lot worse. Whoa. <laughs> she sounds crazy, just like the little sisters. We'll travel to Inner Persephone. But this has been pretty cool. Actually having her as like a plasmid to summon, that, that helps out a lot. But uh, alright guys, I think we'll wrap this one up. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share this with all your friends. And uh, you know guys, leave a comment down below. Because I definitely like hearing from you all. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, leave a comment. But, uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. I smell too much. I dream too much. I tell myself.